Everybody has a story that changes life. Sometimes it comes from a coincidence, but sometimes it's the real inspiration. So are you ready to hear their success stories? Please welcome to the stage, Wulse Terim Bahçe Kapılı, Roberto De Rosa, and Refika Birgül to share with us their experiences. Uh, and digital marketing consultant Adinga Tamimi is the moderator. Thank you. Okay. Let's get closer. Let's get closer, yeah. Yes. Okay. Hello, everyone. Merhaba, herkese bu arada. Herkese merhaba. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Okay, my name is uh, Adinga Tamimi. I try to moderate this discussion with uh, Refika and um, Buse and also. Roberto. Okay. Um, well, this is about the uh, my victory story. So you have to ins inspire people uh, who attend this event now with your story. So probably I would like to ask, starting from you. All right. Um, uh, who you are, what you do, and uh, how you use social media to to leverage your uh, okay. uh, uh, reach. Until the age 30, I used to run a hospital. I used to be a CEO of a hospital. Okay. Uh, but there was this thing about creativity was going through me, and uh, I had to do it. I had to take it out from something, and it was food all my life. Okay. So at the age of 30, I had the shingles, high blood pressure, and everything. And uh, there, I was writing on the side a book about. Uh, like the Nouvelle Cuisine of Turkey, uh, okay. Turkish um, uh, new Turkish Istanbul cooking style in a way. Okay. And then uh, that book became a big thing and mm -hmm. then there was a TV show and uh, my life has changed. Yeah. Food kind of saved me. Okay. So uh, basically... So basically your content is uh, all about food. Uh, Mike, all, all, I, I, as you can see, I'm all about food, <laughs> uh, and uh, yes, uh, okay. and the biggest thing, like, I think there's something called like seven years in people's lives. Are you familiar with the fact, like, so in seven years, uh, all the cells in your body change? Yep. Uh, and in seven years now, it's my seventh year. Uh, I have shifted everything. I left the TV. I mm -hmm. like, okay, I still do some stuff, but uh, I've shifted my focus to YouTube now. Okay. So basically, uh, and it's a different one. And it saved me again. Are you still uh, doing TV shows or? Uh, I didn't do any TV shows for all three right. years now yeah. because I hated the fact that what they, they want the same thing all the time. Okay. As you know, we always see the same things. All right. Uh, we have the, the, the soap operas are not, not bad, it's, I think, in world class, but the rest is, okay. uh, it's becoming shit here every, every day, so uh, All right. we're trying to change that. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, there are now uh, some offers of what, like what I want to do, and if I do that, uh, right. I will do the TV, but uh, it's basically my, your, my fa main focus has become in the last, last six months, mm -hmm. YouTube. Okay. Yeah. All right, now we shift to Roberto. So you're Italian. Yeah. Hello, okay. everyone. I'm Roberto. I'm definitely Italian. You can see it by my accent. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm actually an Instagram boy, which mm -hmm. in the last three years, I spent all my whole life traveling, mm -hmm. fashion shows, and inspiring and get inspired by people. My Instagram is all about my travels all around the world, where I try to wear outfits, which people can try to shop all around the world. And also, I like to get to parties, get inspired, uh, okay. meet people, and talk about my daily life. Okay. So basically, you inspired people uh, about yourself and your daily life through Instagram. So um, what you're trying to say through your social <laughs> media channel, especially Instagram, are you prefer inside the picture or outside the pictures? Because uh, it works different way for some people. It's crazy how in the last three years everything has changed in my life. Okay. I was like a normal guy, next door guy from a city of Italy, studying law, 
my master law and one day my Islam grow, 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 grow mm -hmm. and I didn't know what to do. So I was in the middle of decisions. Yeah. So I say, okay, what should I do? I just open a blog. How and old are you, by the way? I'm getting old. I'm 29. <laughs> <laughs> Very old you are. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God. And so I was like between decisions and I opened my blog. Okay. Everything was very fast. I also did a TV show because in Italy, Instagram is a really, really big thing. Everybody's on social media, and if you are popular on Instagram, it's now time to do other things. So I did a TV show, which is like kind of Dance with the Stars. Okay. Hmm. So it was pretty much fun, and every day I try to be myself uh, on my Instagram stories, so people will we can see how do I talk. I talk in Italian. I talk in English. And also I do my photos where my photos are a bit something different. I like to make it in very, very high quality. Okay. And it's not sometimes the real me, but uh, on my stories you can see me. All right. Okay. Thank you. And then move to Busse. Busse, you are a mother as well. So you have a, you have a kids. Yes. Right? And um, probably you can uh, tell a bit about yourself. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Please. Uh, my journey started uh, when I was studying at FIT, at Fashion Institute of Technology in New York. I studied fashion merchandising management there. And I started my blog actually uh, 2010. So mm -hmm. it's almost eight years right now. I started as just a hobby and an amateur blog. I yeah. shared like the, the photos that I like. Um, the fashion news that I like and okay. my crowd was just my friends yeah and then I graduated I did some internships mm -hmm. uh, within that internships I learned yeah. that I should be my own boss yeah. and I I have to do my own job uh, so when I graduated and come back to Istanbul the blog has come into um, something but it wasn't as big as now okay and then I started uh, to focusing and concentrating mainly on mm -hmm. the blog, mm -hmm. but it started as an amateur blog and then it changed into a profession. Okay. I worked with brands. Right now, uh, we have every subject that you can think, health, psychology, fashion. Yeah. Um, it's been, as I said, eight years and now I have mm. 10 people working with me. Yeah. So I started as an alone. I started mm. as an amateur blog and then yeah. it um, became really big. I started, uh, I worked really hard for this. Okay. Um, I, I should say that. Yeah. Sometimes they see influencers and bloggers like they, they party, they go to places, they don't do anything, they yeah. don't have time, but it's yeah. not like that. You have to work mm -hmm. to gain this audience and mm -hmm. to have uh, that content. Yeah. So that journey started like that, and now um, it's getting bigger and bigger every day. Thank you. All right, uh, I have a question for you, uh, Refika. So um, obviously you love food and you do cook as well, right? You I, cook as well. I cook. Yeah. All right. And um, in social probably I cook more than I eat. You know, I eat a lot, in, but I cook more. In, in social media, it's very hard to sell anything about food. Okay, especially if you want to grow a bigger audience. What your uh, What is your uh, best uh, tips to grow audience for uh, food content? I think I didn't get the question. Do you okay, mean so, like so, it's so hard basically, to sell? Uh, basically, for uh, for example, if it's Roberto selling about old travel, okay, it's it's very easy because people enjoy what they see, uh -huh. okay, and beautiful places and everything. But if you sell like food, okay, food pictures or food video, how can you make people interesting with the content? Interested with the content? Hmm. Uh, Is there any special trips? I mean, like uh, tips maybe. I, I know that travel is very high on mm. uh, the influencers, but yeah. uh, I believe food is uh, like, it's an instinct. Like when you see food, you get your saliva started, secretion, uh, something happens in the stomach. Okay. This is so natural. And, and I, we are among friends, so I can say it's like porn, you know. Uh, <laughs> and what you see affects your body. Physically yes. affects your body, okay. uh, so uh, in fact, it's I believe even much easier uh, through food to inspire people through food mm -hmm. uh, to get engaged. The thing is, uh, uh, same in fashion, same in travel. Uh, you have to be naked with the food. You have to okay. be sincere, and uh, if it doesn't happen like that, like if you see something and 
like you work for two hours to make that thing, but you, you show it like, is it done in 15 minutes? That doesn't work. Uh, you have to be like there and the colors, the, the camera, like I'm a camera crazy person. I know, now I know the angles from which camera comes uh, and with what lens, mm -hmm. how, how, how big the tomato is going to be in. I like that kind of stuff is very important. Uh, and from six year old, four year old children to 80 year old men, yeah. uh, food is for everyone. I have audiences in those different kind of people, so uh, it's not hard. It's just, it has to come just from here. Okay, yeah. all right, okay. So you, uh, you turn from a TV celebrity to be a, a YouTuber. Yep. What is the uh, difficulty to turn straight away from TV shows to YouTube? Yep, it's actually two very, very different things. It's mm. like, uh, you know, if you like, like know how to ride a bike, uh, you, you turn the uh, thing down, it goes to right. But when you're, uh, what you know, what works on TV, what makes you, you very successful on TV, yeah. uh, sucks in YouTube, so really sucks. You know, what you, like, you have the perfect shots and everything, the world is great. Mm -hmm. If you, you do the, that thing in YouTube, which in like, in the first two months, yeah. we were, I was struggling, so I had to leave some of the things out and bring up some of the things that were inside me which was covered uh, because you know like for tv there are tons of things that you have don't ha should not do so uh that was the most difficult thing yeah. um uh other than that uh, i put 5 days a, a, a content 5 days yeah uh that's kind of tiring mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. but but it's a lot of fun. Like, if I miss one day or something, yep. I really get sad. So, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm getting, I'm loving it so much. Okay. So, Roberto, as you're Italian, I just want to ask you how Italians work uh, in social media. I mean, like, is it a big thing in Italia yeah. uh, 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 in terms of social media influences? Or it's just started or um, it's, not, it's not really a trend? Because some country has different stories. I think in Italy, social media and Instagram, most of everything is very important. There is no one brand that now is not working on social media. Mm. I work with everyone. I work from the food to the flight companies. I work with the high luxury brands. I work with all the beauty brands. Really, it's such really big things. And I think it's very important for every brand, every company to work on social media. When you invest in your advertising, you cannot miss this kind of advertising. Okay. I think most of the people in Italy are on social media, young generation, old generation, even parents that they follow the children, everyone is doing social media. And Instagram is very important. Before it was something more natural, more fun, now it's getting very complicated. It's all about quality. Mm. Content has to be very, very important for the quality. Mm. Yeah. We are really we pay attention for everything. Even if we make advertising, we need to write that it is a advertising on the photo mm -hmm. because uh, there is now the law in Italy that uh, it's obliged ah. to say that you are sponsoring something. Yeah. So you cannot do something like, oh, maybe it's paid, maybe not. So for us, it's very important to be trusted to our followers. I'm not like a shopping mall. I'm not like every day changing products. I'm like, uh, Choosing the one that they really belong to me, actually. I think this is my secret to work more in this business. And okay. I think that's what people love about me. And of course, I try to mix my real life with my sponsorship, with my travels, with my work. But trust us, behind a single influencer on Instagram, there is so much hard work. There is public relation, there is contract, there is marketing, there is a strategy. There are people working with us, like our agents or our team, so trust us, it's very, very hard work just behind the photo. I wish I could have a YouTube channel like you do, but for me it's very hard. As you say, you just to be, to be naked in front of a camera, and for me it would be maybe too much. <laughs> With Instagram, we still can cover our, ourselves. We yeah. can just still study a bit more about a picture, so I prefer still my Instagram channel. Okay. Um, I moved to uh, Busse. Um, you started a blog first, mm -hmm. yeah? And then you moved to social media. Yeah. 
how you find a blog can uh, raise your popularity in social media or the other way around? Uh, when I started, uh, blogs and blogging was a was a trending. A, a it huge wasn't, trend. Yeah, it was yeah. A, it wasn't as huge, but yeah. it was trending. Yeah. And then um, in when I came back to Istanbul after I graduated, it mm -hmm. became a trend. Mm -hmm. Back then, no one knew what a blogger is mm -hmm. or what a blog is. Mm -hmm. But right now, we have a new term, and right now we're um, they're calling us influencers. Yeah. So um, blogging was a big trend because you mm -hmm. have your own magazine. Yeah. You can post whatever you like to post. Yeah. You can add your own comments. Okay. You can add your own uh, thoughts. So yeah. I think it's a big power. All right. But right now, I think it's evaluated from blogging to Instagram. Yeah. We have new elements in our hands right now that mm -hmm. is more powerful than the mm -hmm. blogs. Right now, I don't want to call uh, my website as a blog because it's it's it has everything inside. So it's okay. not a specific blog about something. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely a big. Um, so um, being a blogger first, and then mm -hmm. turn to social media yeah. influencers. Um, how you find Instagram and blog? Is it uh, you think in Instagram can replace blog completely, or uh, it's more like um, uh, complete each other? I think it, it already replaced it. Mm -hmm. um, Yes, people still read about blogs, but yeah. right now Instagram is the most popular thing in Platform. our hands. Yeah. yeah. So everyone wants to use Instagram as their own blog. So yeah. I think right now that mm -hmm. evaluates that. Yeah. They they still has their own blogs. Yeah. I have my website too, mm -hmm. but I use even Instagram to promote my website That's too. True. So right now okay. the first so tool. So it's complement yeah. each other. Yes. Okay. Can That's I ask cool. a question to Buse? Yes, please. Uh, like your content mm -hmm. uh, it would also go very well with Facebook. Yes, but, but I don't use it that much. You don't use it. Why? Uh, the reason is I find Facebook old right now. Uh -huh. um, yes, I know Turkey still loves Facebook and still Turkish people um, loves to use Facebook. I know you have a lot of followers in Facebook. Uh -huh. But in my side, we do fashion and I think, oh, fa uh -huh. yeah. Hmm. Facebook huh. is dead in fashion. Yeah. Really? <laughs> huh. That's Facebook my opinion. I don't yeah. know. I think uh, we, most of the fashion brands and us influencers, I think we like to use, because everything changes very quickly mm -hmm. and we have to catch up that. And I think Facebook okay. is back that. Is there, a, like I thought, like it's also for you, uh, Facebook is kind of like coming back in a way because... People it's want trying to, to come back, come I back? think, yeah. but um, <laughs> yeah. okay. Okay. also <laughs> try. All right, Snapchat for us in Italy is totally over. Nobody uses Snapchat. Snapchat yes, in same Italy here. Is it's over. Just, yes, Snapchat was a big thing too, and then Instagram started the story, and then Snapchat is dead. I don't yeah. never okay. I think there was something called Periscope. We don't remember I anymore. Think, yeah, so I think I, I mean I believe uh, every platform has plus and minus, so I think for at some point. Buse works better with uh, uh, Instagram, Instagram yeah. and you probably with Facebook and YouTube. Back to you again. Um, you decide to move from TV to YouTube. So yep. what is the next goal for you? Globally, going global. Because it's uh, like I, I didn't get into this just for the fun of it. Uh, I believe Turkish food has uh, deserves to. Is it uh, as, uh, especially only Turkish food? Yeah. What I do, I modernize Turkish food. Mm -hmm. uh, I use very old techniques, very mm -hmm. old stories. Okay. And then um, uh, I mix and match. I, I use algorithms to do so. Right. And I mix and match the old ingredients to uh, the old techniques and like, get a very old ingredient and get a, like, let's say a technique and mix and match and it becomes a different recipe. Okay. So, and, and when you taste it, it you get... Feeling, oh, I know this. Like it gives you the feeling of what your mom did uh, cook, yeah. and then also what you would find in, let's say, a uh, hakasan or something. Now, uh, it 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 gets you to a different journey. So uh, what I want to do is, uh, my, I I always say, uh, my mission is going to be over when a um, French guy mm -hmm. on an ordinary day uh, uh, says. Uh, to her, his girlfriend, I, I'm going to cook, cook you Turkish lahmacun. Uh, when that day comes, my mission is going to be over. So to do so, 
uh, we're going to have the YouTube in English, and etc., etc., a few other okay. stuff. Uh, that's basically it's what I want to go, is I want to go there. Right. So, everyone. Okay. Look, um, I still have a few questions, but I think we also need to concern about the time. And um, back to Roberto, what do you prefer? Is it a long-term collaboration or one-shot project? I do really prefer long-term collaboration. Mm. What's I, the story behind that? But because, you know, when it's like one-shot collaboration, we understand that sometimes some brands, they need to launch a product, a special capsule. It's okay, one-shot collaboration. But we have real people following, following us. So it's important to show to the people that we are not someone that is just, oh, today I'm selling this water, tomorrow is another water, and tomorrow is some soda. So it's very important to feel the product be part of us. Uh, and I think people appreciate more. I think one shot, people mm. forget very easily. We say if you have like long-term collaboration, people like it more, you feel part of the brand. And also the brand has got more engagement, more clients, more people looking for it. OK, OK, good. So uh, with you, uh, uh, Buse, what are your short and long-term plans or goals for the future? Right now? I have an e-commerce website where I sell baby sh uh, shoes and baby mm -hmm. um, items. Mm -hmm. The first long-term aim is I just want to make it bigger. And mm -hmm. actually, I want to tell it here first. No mm -hmm. one knows right now, but mm -hmm. um, Baby On The Go, our shoes brand, it's yep. going to be uh, starting selling in Saks Fifth Avenue very okay. soon yep. in cool. uh, New York. So it's expanding, and I want to mm -hmm. expand globally. So my first short, short and long-term plan is this. Lovely. Yeah. So um, I think uh, we still have uh, a few questions, but the time is not allowing us to do that. So thank you very much for You're being welcome. on stage. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank and you. Uh, give applause to Refika, Roberto, and Buse. Thank you. Thank you.